Today's video is sponsored by Minimal Case. All right guys, so I just got my brand new Pixel 4a and the first thing that I did was slap a Minimal Case on it. And the reason I like Minimal Cases is they don't add bulk and they don't actually take away from the design of the phone. In fact, I'm using the frosted black case on here and it doesn't even look like I have a case on it at all. And what it's doing is it's adding protection against scratches, light drops, and it even protects the glass camera bump on the back of the phone. And they also come in other neutral colors like frosted white, matte black, and I even had the clear case on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you're like me and you just don't like bulky cases but you want to keep your device looking new, minimal cases are the way to go. Now if you are interested in checking out minimal case, I will have a link in the description. If you use the code GAMESKI, you can even save 25% off. And again, I'd like to thank minimal case for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, so today we're gonna check out a brand new pair of true wireless earbuds from the company Sabbath. Now the Sabbath E12 is one of my favorite true wireless earbuds to this day, it has some of the best bass. And so I was very excited to see that the company had a brand new earbud, which we're going to check out. And that is the brand new Sabbath Vu Play. Now this is a pair that retails for $70, but this is actually an open ear design. So this is completely different than having the pairs that has the ear tips and usually is not my favorite type of earbud. But because it was from Sabbat and it has some pretty interesting features, I was more than willing to check these out. So let's go ahead and check out some of the features and what it is you get inside the box. Now the first thing that I notice is it has a very similar design to the Surface Buds where it has this large circle surface which makes it easier to touch if it actually uses touch controls but these actually use button controls. Now they also have a 14 millimeter driver which is a fairly large driver to find in a pair of earbuds. Now these are available in a bunch of different colors. The color that I have is the color Lin. They have different names for these and it looks like they have six colors overall. Now these do have Bluetooth 5.0. They have Aptex, AAC, and SBC playback. I didn't have any issues when it came to lag with watching videos or movies or anything like that. I did not experience any dropouts, although I did speak to another creator and he actually did have issues with dropouts. So there may be some quality concerns, I'm not sure, but I didn't experience any issues with mine. Now, as far as the IP rating, there's no official IP rating on the box or on their website or anything. So I'm not sure how water resistant or if they are water resistant at all. So definitely be careful if you're gonna be around water. Now, as far as what you get inside the box, because this is an open ear design, there are no ear tips at all. They did include a carrying pouch, which is something I don't use. I just like to use the case itself. This is just something extra to keep up with. But you know, for some that use it, I guess they'll be glad they've included this. Now, as far as the charging cable, they've included a USB-C cable. Speaking of the charging cable, the battery life is actually pretty decent on these. You're going to get around six hours of battery life on the earbuds themselves which I think is pretty good considering the drivers in here are so large but with the charging case you can look to get around 40 hours total and a huge bonus about the charging case is it's a Qi wireless charging case so you can just come in drop it on any wireless charger and it will start charging and speaking of the case the case actually has a very premium feel to it it's wrapped in a leather slash pleather type material on the back you can see your USB-C input for charging and then you have four indicator lights underneath the lid so that you can kind of gauge how much battery life is on the case and as soon as you open up the lid the first thing you're going to see are the earbuds which again look really similar to the surface buds which has that large round flat surface although with these you notice that they have a line that goes up the middle and that is actually your physical button to do your controls and i'm happy to say that you have control over everything so you have play pause skipping your tracks forward going backwards and even volume control now, as far as you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then as far as the microphones on here, I think they are just okay. Um, they have the CVC 8.0 technology, so it is doing what it can to focus in on your voice and block out your surroundings. But you guys can judge the mic by listening to a test here. So here is a mic test using the Sabbath Boo Play. I think it does a pretty good job of picking up my voice. I do notice that it kind of picks up a little bit of external noise around me, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. 
And now here is a mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. The sound on these were surprisingly very good. Now, if you are a bass head, because this is an open ear design, it still lacks that feeling of physical punch that you get with ear tips on other earbuds or an actual pair of over the ear headphones. But I still feel like they did a very good job to push the bass up as much as possible without having it distort or without having it hurt your mids and your highs. Now, because this is a pair of Sabbaths, I still wanted a little bit more bass uh, because that's just something I've become familiar with with their products so do know that going in now the mids on these were definitely pushed forward I always felt like the vocalist was right there in front of me male or female vocals just always had a really nice presence to it it kind of felt natural uh, the overall tone to these earbuds is very warm so it kind of calms down anything from sounding real high and that definitely goes with the treble the treble had a lot of detail to it but it didn't sound near being bright because it did have that warmer tone to it overall. Now, as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, this is something that these definitely excel at because the open ear design kind of gives you that feeling of being in a much larger environment. And being able to tell where everything is coming from, these were able to handle with ease. And so overall, it's a very pleasing earbud to listen to, especially considering this is not normally a style that I like to listen to. So now as far as some of my cons with these, um, I did have a couple of times where the earbuds did not disconnect from my phone when I put them in the case. So what that will do is have your earbuds be dead the next time that you go to take them out of the case, or if you're using your phone expecting to hear something and it's actually playing from the earbuds that you thought you've already disconnected, it's just kind of inconvenient. And then the only other thing is if you are a Sabbath fan that's used to their very punchy bass, you're going to want a little bit more out of these because they're just not capable of doing that because of this type of design. But overall, I think they did a very good job with the open ear design and still giving you a pretty dynamic sound, which usually other earbuds kind of fall flat on that have this type of design. So I was very impressed and I think for $70, especially if you're somebody that prefers to use these or just can't use earbuds that have ear tips, this is a very nice option. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Sabbath Vuplay. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.